we're back with an ETB and today it is a Scarlet and Violet one. We have the Scarlet ETB, the Violet one will be coming up this Wednesday so make sure to subscribe if you want to see that and let us get this opened. Now normally I would just skip through an ETB's opening but this is the new ones and there's a few changes. If you haven't seen Scarlet and Violet yet, the cards have silver borders and we're moving back to the EX all the way back from Ruby and Sapphire, I think was the last set to do EX with a lowercase. But uh, yeah, plenty of new cards to have a look at with some new Pokemon. So if you haven't played the games, you might see something new here. The usual packaging. We have eight, eight boosters of Scarlet and Violet. Now these were actually shown off with the Clara and Cyrus tournament collections. I didn't do a video on them. Uh, the ones I got, they weren't very good pulls anyway. But they have changed the poison and fire counters. So that's quite cool. They're a little bit holographic now, I think. Some of them were before. And the new dice, which have a sort of marble effect. Oh, and the main dice has an EX instead of a 1. So, there is a code card for you. You can use that, I'm pretty sure it gives you the sleeves and such for these boxes. And we have the bl uh, red and gold. Look at that. Very nice shiny sleeves there. We also get our usual pack of energies. And there is our Caridon promo. One thing I've noticed with Scarlet and Violet so far, that some of the Pokemon names I am not used to seeing, so I will probably, you know, mess a few words up here and there. So that is your promo. That's quite nice. And oh whoa. I didn't realize the back of these were gold. I wonder what it is for Violet then. Very nice. That was the contents of the box. That is us done with that. Which means we're on to the main attraction. We have eight packets of Scarlet and Violet. Well, let us see. Most likely, as I said, I will be butchering names here because I did play the game, but not super familiar. Oh, and it's changed. You don't have to do any card tricks anymore to get the right order, but you do have to guess what energy you think is going to be the end. So let us see what we have. We have a Switch, a Fuacoco, a Tropius, a Pokeball, Lucario, Rock Chestplate, Satitan, a Curlier Reverse, we have a Muck, a Dondozo, and it's little friend in its mouth there. And it was a dark energy. Well done to anyone that got that. And there is your code card. So, let us get into the next one. It is quite refreshing not having to do it or remember a card code. Less chances of me mucking it up. Staravia, Rounce, Tandemus, Pokegear 3.0, a Flamigo, which is a Pokemon that should have had an Evolve in my opinion for Retros, a Rock Hat, yeah, definitely what that says, a Pommel Reverse, I love the Pommel line for me, but first it was just kind of like, oh it's another Pikachu, it's more than just a Pikachu, a Riolu, and a Magnezone EX. I think out of all of the EX cards, I think the Magnezone is the most common. Psychic Energy for anyone that guessed that, and there is your code card. Let me get this little stack out my road and see what we have in the third pack. Now, I I have opened a booster box of these already and the a lot of the art cards are really nice. Love them. A lot of the EXs are really kind of plain. They have like a star hollow on them. You might have seen that there. Mm, not super exciting. Magikarp, Magnemite, Energy Switch, Varum, Team Star Grunt, Zangus, Youngster, Team Star Grunt Reverse. Oh wow, the routes. So this card is a part of like a storyline. The routes, the Carlia and the Gardevoir. The girl in the picture there ages up as the Pokemon evolves. It is like a really nice touch to the, the set. And an Annihilate, that is cool. Um, I was not expecting an Annihilate to be in the last game, which is a nice surprise. So there's your code card. It was Fire and Energy to anyone that guessed that. And let us see if we can get any other pretty good pulls. Now, this marks the halfway mark. And we have two decent ones. It'll be good to see if we actually get anything else in here. Now, the big problem is Floet, Pommy, Smolov, Wiglet, Mabustiv, Miriam, Spiritum, 
Slowpoke Reverse, a Drifflin Reverse, and an Arbolivia. Arbolivia. <laughs> I'll get there. So, when you're looking at the packs and you first open them, you see all the shiny bits around the edges, and you're like, oh, there's a pull at the end. But it could just be a hollow, because you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack now, which is handy, but very misleading. And it was a water energy. Well done to you if you guessed water. And there is your code card. But so far, as I say, I am quite liking Scarlet and Violet. Um, the cards that are high priced are kind of strangely cards to be high priced. For example, the Miriam, obviously the chase card in Japan, it's ridiculous amounts of money. Clauncher, Skidoo, Quaxley, Squovit, Flaffy, Blussy, Tatsuguri, a Squawkabilly Reverse, a Drowsy Reverse, and an Armourage. Hey, and there's a basic energy. Well, nothing super exciting in there, but there is some new Pokemon, which are always nice to see. Gives me a little bit of practice trying to name them. Um, let's see what this one has. And that's a Grievard, a Mastiff, a Spupa, a Meditate, a Ultra Ball. These lines down the edges of the trainers just gives me very old school vibes. Espartha, Arvin, Heracross Reverse, Didini Reverse, Reverum, and we got a Fighting Energy. Well done if you guessed that. And there's your code card. Well, this is our second to last pack. So, let us see if we actually have anything else sitting in this ETB, or is it just two pools? Charcadet, Lechonk, Starly, Tarantula, we have a Joch, uh, XP Share, a Florigato, Curly Reverse, a Magnavite Reverse, and a Klefki Hollow, followed up by an Electric Energy. Well, there you go, and that's your code card. So, we have our very last pack from the CTB. Do you think we're going to have some heat? Let us find out. We're starting with an Energy Search, a Grimer, a Bruxish, a Cacnea, Cacturn, Mesagoza, Driftblim, Bisharp Reverse, Meowscarada, and a Dondozo. And there's a Basic Energy, which was dark. There's your code card. So, definitely get used to a few names. Definitely need to get used to revealing the energies at the end. I feel like that's kind of fun. But, pool-wise, kind of disappointing. So, we have a Karide on there. Which, again, lovely promo. Almost worth it in itself. We got the Rouse. Rouse is a really nice card. I want to try to pull all three of them. Just because of the art set is like a really nice one to go through. And the Magnazone EX. Which I reckon will be one of the lowest valued EXs out of this set. Because I have seen many of them on Twitter. I have already had two pulled. And it's... Um, yeah. It is what it is. That is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. If you're thinking about subscribing, you should do that and have a great day.